Hi lovely people, I've just done a DIY video about eczema and some beautiful recipes that you can do at home with some very simple ingredients for basically to help to treat the symptoms of eczema because the causes of eczema um, you have to find out yourself, that's your job. Now I'm really passionate about eczema that's why I've been talking a lot about eczema lately is because my little daughter Gemma she has eczema and she's actually just had a little bit of a breakout uh, lately and so that's why I've been doing a few DIYs but in actual fact it was Gemma who led me on this path all things just aligned to this path of skincare and um, when she was born of course, I was breastfeeding and she was about six, month, six months old and I had to take her to the doctors because, oh my gosh, she had a breakout of eczema from here to here. Oh, her poor little neck was just red raw. It was bleeding. She was itching herself because she was six months old. She was taking off the gloves and just tearing herself apart. Far out. We were all sleep deprived. We were all desperate. Um, we, oh goodness me. Look, I get it. I get parents who are going through this. It's awful. It's, it's, hard, it's hard enough when you're an adult with eczema, but uh, with a, a child, with a baby with eczema, everybody, everybody suffers. And you don't like seeing a little baby suffer. So this is really deep. Um, in my heart and in my soul that um, I've done a lot of research and I've um, done a lot of uh, a lot of certificates I've been studying a lot um, on these particular subjects to help my daughter because it's not nice it's awful seeing your child suffer like that so the story goes that um, I went to the doctors because uh, at that time, I wasn't making any any skincare products, and um, I was growing a lot of the medicinal herbs, and I was studying topical naturopathy at the time. And I've walked down the doctors with a diagnosis of um, of a food related eczema, and uh, we actually found out that it was a wheat um, allergy that she had, and that's the cause of it. That's the cause of eczema. Look, there are so many different um, causes of eczema and that is 100% your job to find out what other triggers can be stress. We've talked about all that before in other videos. So, um, and then there are just people that it's impossible to find out. Um, so therefore, I left the doctors with cortisone cream and uh, on the way in the car home, I said to Greg, you know what, like I've been studying this, just amazing how everything aligns, isn't it? I'm growing the herbs, I'm studying this at the time, topical naturopathy, and we've just done eczema, we've just done dermatitis, and um, getting into a little bit of skin science, and I see, you know what, <laughs> we've got the cause, the cortisone was to treat the symptoms. So let's see if I can make some products to treat the symptoms. So the symptoms are the incredibly dry skin. And um, we want to save the, the top of the epidermis um, to stop that from cracking and drying out, stop that infection going through. So like, you know, bacteria from, um, from the outside going into the dermis. So I created three products that are very dear to me that um, I would like to offer out as a bundle special. So first up is my Hypericum cream. Now I make my Hypericum cream out of an apple cider vinegar tincture. Most tinctures are made out of an alcohol base um, or a universal solvent. So this one um, I make out of an apple cider vinegar. It takes about six months to make and I put it under a hydraulic press to get all the goodness out. So um, it is a long and involved cream to make. It's got very similar oils to here. 
um, that I've shown here, but um, a few others too. And there's also a fresh herbal infusion from the herbs that we grow on our permaculture farm that are all certified organic. Honey in here as well. Now the good thing about Hypericum is that it acts like a bit of a local anaesthetic, so it numbs those nerve endings and that's what stops the itch as well. Um, now because it does have apple cider vinegar in it, it will sting a little bit. Gemma's 13 now, so she understands that um, it will sting a little bit if the skin's broken. And the skin is broken at the moment, so the naughty thing, she didn't tell me about it. Um, so this is for after you have a bath or after you have a shower to lock in that um, the moisture. You want to put this on to um, lock it in and to stop that itch. I've made a hypericum oil, which is the hypericum infused in olive oil, and I've got certified organic essential oils in this as well. Now this is... Uh, when you're out and about and it's just driving you absolutely nuts and uh, you just need a, a quick little hit um, that's going to just ease that itch for you until you get home to get your hypericum, to do your poultice, um, that sort of thing. So Gemma keeps this in her bag so if it's starting to drive her bonkers she can pop some of that on. Really great for cold sores too actually and insect bites. And then the third um, product is a calendula ointment. So this is um, the one that I started off with Gemma, the calendula ointment. This one, it's this local low heat of beeswax. I infuse our certified organic calendula flowers into the um, certified organic olive oil. And I'll put them also under a hydraulic press. So with this one, um, Gemma... Uh, when she was six months old, um, once we got it all under control, once we got the eczema under control and uh, it wasn't itchy any longer, we would put this on her after a bath and it would just lock all that moisture in there and it would just keep it all nice and moisturised. So this is when it's, this is basically keeping it at bay keeping it at bay. This is for when it's gotten out of control. Like Gemma is at the moment, <laughs> naughty thing. She didn't tell me, she didn't put her calendula ointment on. So um, she's got to start using this because it's gone. It needs a little bit of antibacterial as well. because it's got essential oils in this one too. It's got lavender tea tree and eucalyptus. So I'm offering these three products up on our website. Now, the Hypericum does come in the 100ml or the 250 and also the cleanse that comes in either the 60ml or the 15ml. So, and the Hypericum is just one size. So you can choose up, uh, choose your, your size on the website. So I thought I'd offer that up as a lovely little kit and um, I'll put the link to it, to this video and also um, on Instagram, I'll put it onto the bio. So thank you so much for listening and I totally understand where parents and adults are with um, eczema. It's so a nice thing. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.